Hey, it's Chris Loomis, and uh, welcome to Aircraft Performance. This is Module 7, and I'm going to talk about how to fill in this exercise uh, 7, Climb Solutions. So let's first talk about the sawtooth climb. There seems to be a little bit of confusion on this. Uh, essentially, it's just an experiment in determining uh, rates of climb, angle of climb. If you know your airspeed and the time it takes to climb a certain distance, you can fill in some of these other uh, questions such as uh, your angle of climb. So I'll just explain this a little bit better here. So you have your pressure altitude here of 2,000 feet. That's what it's telling us right now. And you're going to climb from 1,500 feet okay, up to 2,500 feet. And this distance is 1,000 feet, right? Okay, and to, to climb that 1,000 feet, it's going to take you 80 seconds. And you're going to do that, that's at this airspeed, 140. That time will differ depending on your airspeed. Um, but right now, we know the givens are, it gives us indicated airspeed, and it gives us time to climb, so we need to figure out the rest of it. So we need to first start off with finding your true airspeed. So this is going back to Chapter 3. Uh, to find your true airspeed, true airspeed equals equivalent airspeed divided by the square root of sigma density ratio. All right, now we're going to assume that for this exercise that the indicated airspeed is equal to equivalent airspeed. So there's no reason to go through any kind of conversions on that. All right, so those are going to be equal. So that means we're going to have 140 divided by the square root of the pressure density ratio at 2,000 feet. So chapter 2, uh, it's on page 2.12 or figure 2.1. That's that chart with all the different uh, calculations that's been done for you. Uh, so your density ratio right there ends up being 0.94277. The square root of that divided into 140, that's going to give you an airspeed of 144. Okay, so 144 TAS. Once we know that, we can now start to solve the rest of this table. All right, average rate of climbing feet per minute. Uh, for this particular one, um, so rate of climb in feet per minute. So it's going to be, you're going to go up a thousand feet, right? Climbing up a thousand feet, and we're going to do it in 80 seconds. All right, so that's that derivative of height over derivative of time, height over time. But we need to convert this in feet per minute. So 60 seconds in one minute. All right, so you uh, do the math, and that works out to be 750 feet per minute. So the seconds cancel out here, right? And you're left with feet per minute. All right. Okay. Uh, for the next part, uh, looking for average rate of climb in knots. So this is really, all you have to do is just convert that 750 into, into knots. So it's in feet per minute. We want it in knots. So we know that there's 6,070 feet in one nautical mile. Right, so we have uh, rate of climb in knots equals your 750 feet in one minute. And we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour, because knots is measured in, in hours, just like miles per hour, knots is the same thing. And then there's one nautical mile and 6,070 feet. Okay, so the feet cancel out and the minutes cancel out and we're left with nautical miles per hour. Do the math across here and you end up with, uh, what is it, 7.4. 7.4 knots. All right. And then the last one, we're looking for angle of climb. 
All right, so angle of climb, uh, page 10.8 in your textbook. Uh, there's a formula for that. And uh, this is your, basically your vertical, you're looking for your vertical speed over your horizontal speed. So that's your rate of climb in knots divided by true airspeed. Okay, so, and it's, you, look, you also have to get the angle. So it's, you know, sine of the angle y equals that. Okay. So obviously to solve for the angle, move sine to the other side. So it's sine negative 1 times your rate of climb in knots divided by true airspeed. All right. And then that right here, you fill this in. This is 7.4. Divided by 144, all right. And that works out to be uh, 0.051 I think. All right. And then just take your iPhone, flip it sideways, or your you know scientific calculator, second function, sine negative one, and you get a climb angle. All right, your angle of climb is going to be 2.95. All right. So there's the first part of the table filled in. Now you just have to just go through and do the rest. This should, that should hopefully help you out. <clears throat> uh, now it also gives you, it's asking you to solve the second part of this table, there's parts A through E. The first three is very easy. Just go through and, you know, once you have your tables completed, answer the questions. You know, what's your VX, best angle of climb, airspeed? Well, find your best angle and, and then you find the corresponding airspeed with that. Very simple. Okay, as far as this uh, part D, D is asking for you to find specific S excess power at VY, and it wants it in expressed in feet per second. Now we already, we already know that we have this answer expressed in feet per minute, That's, that once you've solved your table, you'll know what that is. But let's assume that it is 750 feet per minute, all right? It's not, just so you know, but let's assume that it's 750 feet per minute. So really all you're gonna do is convert that into feet per second, all right? And so 750 divided by 60, right? That's feet per second, and we want we want one second, uh, one minute is 60 seconds, right? So uh, that's really all that is. So what is that? What's 750 divided by 60? Let me grab my phone here and, and, and don't do math in public. That's like the number one thing with video. So I'll use a calculator. It's 12.5 feet per second, all right? So that's how you would solve that. And that's kind of going back to that whole derivative of height over derivative of time. All right, so height is, you know, your vertical speed or your rate of climb and over time. So if you know, once you've determined in this particular one what your best rate of climb is, you take that and then divide it by 60 because you're trying to go to feet per second and then you get your answer, all right? And then for the last one, uh, this is uh, excess thrust at VY and VX, okay? And excess thrust, we just talked about how you can express it in feet per minute or, or feet per second. Uh, you can also do it in pounds if you, you know some other data, which we have. So it's thrust minus drag. That's really what excess thr thrust is, right? Thrust minus drag. And what you have left over is your excess thrust. So that's your rate of climb. So equals rate of climb in knots times your weight divided by your velocity, we'll call this in true airspeed, all right? So uh, equals rate of climb, let's assume here it's 7.4 knots times 3, 100,000 divided by Sure speed of 144. Okay, again, we'll use a calculator. All right, so 7.4 times 3, 100,000 
is 2, 2, I'm at 144. All right. So this is rounding off, but that's what you're left with. Okay. So your excess thrust at VY, if this was your VY airspeed or your VX, whatever it may be, you're going to get, you're going to be left, your excess thrust is 15,416 pounds. So that's how you solve that. You're obviously, that is not the actual answer, by the way. Well, you're going to go through and find your VY, your VX, and which you would have answered in part A, and then just do this, and you're done. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps. Um, leave me some comments below. I'd like to hear from you. And, uh, but yeah, that's great. So, so until next time, we'll see you.